Hello friends, welcome to another video. It is again based on a question posted on Power BI Community Forum. Actually this question was posted uh, two, three years ago. Uh, for some reason I have it in my list of things uh, to share with everyone. So let's look at the question and then we will look into the solution. So here we have a question where the user says, um, I want to highlight entire rows where the values in the columns do not match one another. Again, he said my data is a single table where I'm pivoting the data in the server column. So here it is, uh, we have a server one, two, three, four, and then some category or subcategories. So basically the values are in each server for that subcategory. And here he gave the example where a, all the values in each columns uh, are matching for each server but for this one sum of config value 8580 8580 uh, the values are different so uh, the the ask here is the question is highlight these this row where the values for all the servers uh, does not match so let's first um, I'm going to uh, go into an Excel and just walk through how I decided to solve it. So let's uh, let's first do it in, a, in, in Excel. So here I have an Excel file. So let's, let's say we have, um, we don't know how many number of servers we are going to do. Like today's a four uh, server is means on the columns he used. Tomorrow it could be five, it could be six, right? But um, how are we going to solve it? Let, let me um, explain it here. So let's say this is value and this is regardless of the category or subcategory. This is server one, this is server two, um, and then three and four. Let's take an example of four server. So let's add some value here. So 100, 100, 100, 100. So means, so all the um, server has the same value. So we don't want to highlight this. So how we can solve this? So the one way is first we count how many number of servers are there. Uh, so let's say count um, here. So that's a four servers. And then we count, okay, what is the total value of all the servers uh, across all the servers? So which is sum uh, of this. And then say, okay, it's a 400 and uh, the four servers. So what is the average? So we can then divide this by this. So this is the 100. And now we can take this value to compare and highlight um, the, whether we need to decide whether we need to highlight that row or not. So how we can do that? I say, okay, if this value is not equal to this value, uh, which would be uh, fixed value dollar four um, a dollar sign if it's not equal to that one it means this is a red color so we want to highlight it otherwise um, let's put star so we don't star means we don't want to highlight it so in this case as we can see if we expand this here so it means the star is do not highlight it because each server has the same value well, let's change the value of one of the servers let's say this one is 60 so what happens is, so we have a four number of servers, the total value is 360 of these, and the average is 90. And now we can compare the average, which does not match, and then say, okay, you know, this is going to be highlighted because it means if the average does not match the value of the server, it means that row need to be highlighted. So simple formula. So here again, I can go 100, and everything will change. Here I go 99. Whatever I try to do it, one, two, three, four, highlight, one, 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 do not highlight. So to, basically what we need to do is we need first in Power BI, a DAX formula to count how many servers are there. And then the second is on this particular row, each row we find out the sum. And once we find out the sum, we divide the sum by the number of servers that gives the average and then compare that average value once we have this value. So this is total servers. This is total sum of value on the, on the row, uh, just to make sure I'm uh, explaining it better. And this one is average, which is um, of course straightforward. Um, so now 
So basically, if we calculate these three things in Power BI through DAX, and then we compare this average with each value, if that is not the same, it means um, that is a row what we need to highlight. Let's let's go to Power BI and look how we're gonna solve this. So here I am in Power BI. Again, I did the same thing. So I have a category and subcategory on my on my rows, and then I have a server one, two, three, four, and there's some dummy values and and uh, other stuff. So let's uh, okay, let's remove this. So I already added a measure called number of servers, which is why it's called new. So number of servers, um, uh, it's called, it's basically calculate distinct count amount of servers. So that's table name is amount, sorry, uh, name is wrong, but uh, that's the name of the table. And the column name is server. So as you can see, we have a unpivoted data in the table and uh, we have category, subcategory, server, and the amount. So that's the server and then uh, all amount. So because we are removing any filter coming on the uh, amount table. So if I put this in a KPI, uh, just for the sake of testing, come on. And we do it here. So I get the value four. It means there are four servers. Let's put this actually measure on the value section so and remove the sum of amount. So what we get the four, wherever there is a value for a server on a subcategory or uh, category. So we are getting the value four. So this is the first task we in in Excel we saw we want to count the number of servers. So we, we now have that. And now next thing we want to find out is the total amount in this row. So the the basic amount is the measure for that is is a sum of amount. So let's put it here. So Sum of amount is 100, 110, and at the total, this is 210. So basically what we want is 200 for each server where there is a value. So how we can do that? Um, so I already have a measure for it. It is called sum of servers. So what I'm doing here is pretty simple formula, calculate sum of amount and all selected amount servers. So basically uh, whatever the servers um, value we're seeing, um, so we just get the sum of it. So let's uh, let's put this measure in in our matrix visual here, next to sum of amount. If I drop it here, so as you can see, uh, what we have here is a. Uh, let's remove sum of amount so that we can fit everything and easy to read. So as you can see, uh, for each server, uh, we have 210, 210, 400. So basically, the total at the end uh, is what we have for the each category. So this is our second uh, calculation we did in our um, Excel sheet. So, so now we have a number of servers and we also have the sum of uh, the values in the rows. So what the third thing we need to do is calculate the average by server, which is pretty straightforward. I have already have a measure for it. So it's called average of servers. So sum of servers divided by number of servers, right? So if we bring this uh, now into our um, uh, matrix visual and remove uh, other one. So what we have, so we have an average 53, 53 or whatever the average turned out to be. And uh, actually it will be easier if we put sum of servers and number of servers next to each other. Maybe put it on rows uh, so that it's easy to visualize the data. Uh, show on rows. So if we see this now, um, what we have is um, for each subcategory, so S1, we have average of server is 53, the sum of server is 210, and uh, because each server has the value, that's individual sum of amount as well, just to even further clarify this. Uh, sum of amount. So that is 100 and 110, which becomes 210. 210 is the sum of servers. So for each, we get the 210. And then 210 divided by four number of server is the average by server. So I think I should put it at the bottom. So that's easy to follow. So sum is 100, 110. Sum of server is 210 for each column. Number of server is four. 
average by server is 53 so now we got the average as well as we go to the next row so this is what uh, what we have so the last step was compare our average by server with the sum of amount if this is not equal it means that is the row we want to highlight i'm going to remove other ones and just keep the one which we are interested right now so now i i created another measure called kpi color so i said if sum of amount is not average by server then it is red so it means if i bring this kpi color in my um, matrix visual again and uh, it will help us understand so as you can see uh, s1 it is need to be read because these numbers does not match uh, s2 is also need to be read s1 is also need to be read uh, in this category and and keep on going and i think only the last category c4 s1 sum of amount is 2000 average by server is 500 so these number matches and that's why the kpi color is not red now this is very very easy from here if we highlight our sum of amount that's what we're going to use the conditional formatting conditional formatting uh, background color or font color let's change the font color and we say field value and then we go kpi color i think that was the name of the measure and okay so now what we will see is that sum of amount is getting highlighted so i'm going to remove everything else just uh, to make it cleaner so now this is the result what we have so in c1 in s1 category these numbers does not match and that's why these are highlighted and c2 um, uh, also uh, the reason why the c2 is highlighted there are four server only two server has the value even the value of the two server is the same but we are still highlighting uh, because the blank one uh, it does not have the same value so if we look at the server one two three four server two and four is blank and it means it is it is not the same value as other server one and two again the logic we can tweak if we want to exclude blank then we will update the measures but right now uh, with the basic question posted on the community forum if none of the value matches for those server it means that rows need to be highlighted so s1 and s2 even they have the same value of some of the server but other are blank and that's why we are highlighting so c4 under c4 category s1 is not getting highlighted because each has the 500 value and that is a valid value all the server has the same value this is like a small DAX trick, a, a basically a formula which I first um, you know solved in Excel. How what would be the logic uh, to to uh, to solve this problem? And then I took that logic and converted into the DAX formula and apply the conditional formatting to highlight the rows. I hope you learned a couple of tricks here. Not necessarily you want to start with the DAX, but you can start with like how the pattern to find out the pattern, how you're going to solve it, and then you bring it into the DAX in Power BI. Um, again, thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Bye for now. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Bye now.